In this lesson, you will learn how to use the webhooks with LM Octane. To use the webhook, we will set up a Flask server on Python using PyCharm IDE. So let's first go and set up the Python Flask server. So I have already downloaded and installed uh, Python 3.8 and the PyCharm IDE and configured my environment. So let's create a new project. And we will call it Octane Academy. Here the interpreter is already set from my Python. So this is fine. Yeah, I can say create project. So now the project is created. And the first thing I need to do is I need to, let's say we create a simple script. That's the first script. So we will create a new directory. Um, tutorial webhook. And here we will start with our first script. We will call the script also webhook. It's a Python script. And in the Python script, we need to make sure that we uh, import from Flask. So we need to say from Flask, we need to import first of all requests. And second, we need to import also from Flask, we need to import Flask itself. Okay, so this is um, the minimum we need to have in order to establish the communication. So, and here we need to define the app, which is flask underscore name underscore. So this is basically what we have done. And let's say if uh, name underscore equals, I think it's main. Then app, what we have defined, should run. And this will now run on a local host, which is fine for me. Uh, what is here? Reformat file. So this is okay. So this is what we have defined. Let, let's uh, run the server in order to check uh, if the Flask app is running. You can also enter here in the run. You can also provide the host and um, the port parameter, I think it's port. Yeah, exactly. So these two parameter you can also def uh, decide and uh, define here in order to not run it on the uh, 127.0.0.1. But we will just to get started, we will run on this one. So let's see, yeah, it is running on the port 5000. But in my case, I need to run it on the IP address at minimum in order to communicate with, with my ALM Octane server because the ALM Octane server is not on this machine. So let's, I have to define the host. So basically the app is working. So let's say I would now define the host parameter, host and the port. So let's say my port is 8089. And here I need to enter my IP address. So I think that should be it. Or here I need to provide also as string. This one should be as well. Then a string. Now let's run it again. And let's see if it is working. So this is the app. I can click on it. So there is no resource uh, currently. That's the reason why nothing was found. But let's go back and define a resource. Okay, what I need to do now is I need to tell the app to root. And it should root on, let's say, this. And we will define here webhook demo. And methods will be 
in this case it's I think it's post and this is uh, I guess good and now let's define the same as uh, definition for web hook uh, demo and I guess that's it I need to also define the function so basically this uh, function should return something so let's say we will just return it's okay to return also here yeah, like connection successful and now we can run it again so i've copied now the webhook demo i think i need to copy the ip address let's copy it now let's go to lm octane to see uh, if i can communicate with this resource on this server uh, using the webhook so on octane I need to go now to the customization to administration of the spaces and I'm currently on the default workspace and let's say I would like to communicate from from the manual test so let's go here and say I would like to communicate and trigger a webhook uh, it doesn't matter it could be on new on update and delete it's just for the communication for now I can enter here the IP address and webhook underscore demo. And these are the fields what I would like to send from ALM Octane to this um, webhook. So let's say I send also the test type, test tool type, subtype, the yeah, phase owner I would like to send as well as let's say outer maybe also here the application modules and so on so i can send different uh, data and fields and let's now say test connection so connection succeeded let's see what happened in uh, pycharm i received here something which was good the connection succeeded and I was able to communicate. So this is a first step we have already defined. Now the connection to LM Octane from the test webhook. And let's see how we can catch now the data. So let's press OK. But before uh, we continue, let me show you also one parameter. You need to make sure that this is set. Uh, otherwise, it could be you cannot communicate through webhook especially when you are on http so you have to go to default spaces let me save here and let's go to the space level and on the space level go to parameters enter webhook we allow http this should be on true yeah, so this is one of the precondition. Make sure this is set to true, and then save it here. Go back to your project, and you can now uh, work with with the webhook. So let's see what we can do with it. So let's go to the quality module to test cases. Um, here we have some test cases and whenever we add or remove or update here test it will we will get something but currently we are not measuring anything so we need to make sure we write some code and now we come to the second uh, component the request which we can also see from here so let's say we would like to print uh, we would like to print the request itself so let's say print and we have the request which is on the top you see this component now we are using on the request has always arguments so let's say it should have a json basically and this json i would like to print so let's say this is a string here and that should be it let's rerun it 
Okay, and change a test. Save the test. And we should receive something. We can see here the information we received. So there was a lot of information we received, which included basically everything what we sent out from. I selected from the business rule. It has all the application um, modules, the type of test, the subtype, phase, owner, and so on. So I can see basically all the different fields I have selected uh, in this JSON. JSON. And um, with this way, I'm now able to use uh, the webhooks um, with ALM Octane.